Okay, now we get to start in with the fun stuff. Uh, we're actually going to be solving these uh, some logarithmic and some exponential equations, getting started on it. We'll do more as we go along, but this is the beginnings. Here we have a problem that says log base 5 of x equals 3. Okay, well looking at this as is, it's just a little bit difficult to see what we need to do because sometimes working with the log is very difficult, especially if we have a base. Our calculator doesn't understand a base other than 10 or e, so perhaps we need to change this over to something a little bit different. How about if we try changing it over to the exponential form and see if that helps us any. So right now I'm going to take the base, which is 5, raise it to the other side, there's our exponent of 3, equals the argument, what's left. So this is the exponential form of that logarithmic form. Well, this is a much easier equation to solve, because this says 5 cubed equals x. And we know what 5 cubed is. 5 cubed would be 125. So we have actually solved for x by doing this. Let's try another one. Here we have one that says log base 6 of 36 equals 5x plus 3. So again, looking at the log, it's a very difficult to see what to do, how to get um, x all by itself, because we can't deal with this base. So let's try changing it to exponential form and see if that helps us any at all. So I'm going to take my base, which is 6, raise it to the exponent, or the other side there, which is 5x plus 3, equals the argument, which is 36. Now, this exponential form looks a lot better, and in fact, if we could get the bases to be the same, then the exponents would have to equal each other. And we could do that because 36 is really 6 squared. So I could rewrite that as 6 squared. So now I have 6 to the 5, oops, 5x plus 3 power equals 6 squared. And now our exponents must equal each other. So 5x plus 3 must equal 2. And now this is a simple equation to solve. We subtract 3 from both sides, we get 5x equals negative 1. And dividing both sides by 5, we get x equals negative 1 fifth. So we have solved for x there. Hey, let's try one more. This one says we've got e to the negative 2x plus 1 equals 13. In this case, we're in exponential form. Now, if we could get the bases to be the same, then the exponents would have to equal each other. The problem here is getting e and 13 to be the exact same number. They're not powers of each other or, you know, reciprocals of each other or anything like that. So in this case, exponential form is not working for us. Let's try changing this over to logarithmic form and see if that helps in, in this time. Now since we're working with a base of e, that means we're going to be using the natural log. So the natural log, which has a base of e, so remember, we want to figure out how we're going to write these. And I usually kind of go backwards at it. The base raised to the other side, so that tells me that this is the exponent. Well, our exponent here was negative 2x plus 1 equals the argument. So that tells me that 13 had to be the argument. Now we don't actually write the base of e, so I'm going to erase that. Here we have the natural log of 13 equals negative 2x plus 1. Now at this stage, we can just simply solve for x. If we subtract 1 from both sides, I'm going to put that at the beginning so that it's not confused as 13 minus 1, which that's not. And then dividing both sides by negative 2, we get x equals negative 1 plus the natural log of 13 divided by negative 2. This is an exact answer. We could also plug that in on our calculator to find an approximate answer, which rounded to three decimal places, we should get negative 0.782. Make sure that you can get both the exact